A record-breaking number of Americans are expected to travel this week for the 4th of July, of course. 48.9 million people plan to take a trip for the holiday. According to AAA, that's up more than 4% from last year. Mark Elwood is a contributing editor at Condé Nast Traveler. He's here with how you can still save, still even now, on your summer travel plans. Mark, good morning. And Welcome. it's July 1st. <laughs> I was going to say, I promise, I know. <laughs> if you haven't booked, I can't help. Really? Right. Yes. <laughs> it's a little late. But what are the, okay, so what are the best apps and websites to use? So I, I love two things. If you're looking for a hotel, last minute hotel, I swear by Hotel Tonight. <laughs> it is a very intuitive, beautifully designed app. But what I love about it is it offers deals on a tightly edited selection of hotels. Mm -hmm. So rather than you wading through all of them, it has picked kind of the coolest hotels wherever you're going. Mm -hmm. Great, great deals. You can book up to 100 days ahead, but you could book for this week. Well, what about air flights? Because I think normally if you wait this long, the price is going to be higher. Yes. If you, check a, if you check a flight price at the last minute, I would know we've all had that moment of thinking. Yeah. It costs how much? Especially yeah. holidays. Exactly. Yeah. But because of the way the travel industry works, if you see a flight price that you don't like, click through to the vacations tab on that airline's website. Huh. That's where they sell hotels and flights together. Mm. Because of how they're priced, at the last minute, the package deal might be cheaper than just the flight alone, oh, even if you don't need the hotel. Wow. So you say even book the flight even if you're not going to take the hotel. Exactly. get the cheaper rate. You might, it won't work on everything. Always worth checking. Are there particular yeah. destinations where people can get deals these days? I'm thinking maybe the Dominican Republic, <laughs> Miami, July. <laughs> again, you know, again, we're not going to talk about the Dominican Republic. But, I, would, but I, wouldn't, I wouldn't discourage people from thinking about the Caribbean in the summer. The rates are very, very good. I took and my it's very, very hot. Very, very hot. Yes. Yeah, but there might be a bit of rain after lunch, but you're taking a nap. <laughs> It's, that's what I think of as a, I would also go to London because remember the UK, the pound is much softer in the exchange rate against and you're the dollar. And again, I'm recommending London for a reason. <laughs> yeah. But I would tell you, you know, people perceive Britain as quite an expensive destination. Yeah. About 20% cheaper for an American to go now than five years ago. When is Airbnb better than a hotel, Mark? Um, I always say, if you're particular about where you stay, say you've got family you want to be five minutes walk from, Airbnb lets you put a pin in a map and effectively think, I want to stay right there. Yeah. If you want to be pampered, you want to have that turn down service, you can find some Airbnbs with that service, but you want to stay at a hotel. I just think if location is very, very specific, Airbnb's great. And I just heard about repo cruises. I'd never heard that phrase I hadn't before. Either. Oh, really? Oh, I oh. love this. A repo cruise, repositioning yeah. cruise. It doesn't sound promising. Repo <laughs> usually doesn't mean repositioning. It's not good. So this is when you do want to hear the words repo. Um, we've got a big cruise issue right now. It's something we're obsessed with. When cruise, cruise ships change port from their winter to summer destinations, they have to sail between them. They will sell you staterooms on those, on those uh, repositionings, repos. Mm -hmm. They could be about 40% cheaper, a mm -hmm. little longer than normal, but boy, it's a steal. Yeah, because they got to get there anyway. Exactly. Yeah. You right. can hitch a ride. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mark. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much.